Hey, business owners, we've got a tax specialist today. We're going to break down the new tax law and what it means to you. Here's part two of our mini series. Check it out. All right, it's this week's Money Minutes. Ryan Payne, Cornita Dominguez, as they say, south of the border. And we have on the we have on the show again today, Bob Russo, CPA downstairs, specializes in working with small business owners. So we love working with you, Bob. Thank you. And Bob, I have a great question for here. you. <laughs> it's great to be here. Uh, I have a question for you. Yes. Everyone's talking about this new tax law. Um, you know, for business owners, you get a deduction if you're self-employed. What's that all about, and who does it really benefit? Okay, thank you. You're um, welcome. First, uh, let me just say this. I've read the law about 20 times. That's it. And the law, <laughs> at this moment, is clear as mud. You should understand that. Um, yeah. this, it, this deduction is called the Qualified Business Income Deduction and all small businesses are eligible to receive it. That includes whether you are self-employed as a sole proprietor, you're in a partnership, you're an S corporation, or you're an LLC. You are all eligible. And what it, the, the essence of the law says this, that you are allowed to take a 20% deduction of this qualified business income, which in plain English for most people means their yes. profit whatever the profit is against your taxable income. But very important, and this is immediately as soon as I say that when it starts to get muddy. If you're single and your taxable income, your personal taxable income is above 157,000, then the rules of the game change. You lose it. You lo well, you lose it if you don't have a salary. So okay. this is where now if you're self-employed and you're filing a Schedule C and you have no salaries to anybody, you're gonna lose that whole 20%. So this is when tax planning becomes really important for you. And you can help with this. Absolutely, and that's what we're doing now for all of our clients because getting around this law, there's a lot of other possibilities for instance. Instead of you being self-employed by yourself, maybe you make your spouse a partner. By doing that as a passive partner, you're gonna maybe get a greater deduction. And that's something else we can help to discuss with you. Beautiful. And it makes a lot of sense to have these reviews right now so you can start to plan before the end of the year. Is that correct? Oh, for certain, There's yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and I, I, I will tell you that never before have self-employed people needed tax advice as much as now to, to be able to maximize their tax savings. Exactly. So it's really important that they do it. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if you guys want a tax review, just send an email. This is taxes to info at paincm.com and we'll work with you. We'll get that review for you and make sure you are set up to get the best deductions possible for 2018 and this new tax bill, which is to your point, as clear as mud. So we're gonna to try to make that a little more clear for you. Uh, also, click on the link below and you can subscribe to our weekly content and stay up to date on everything in your financial life. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.